As I say before, I know Pakistani people are great hosts, but like when you say you're Turkish, it has become something else. Like they, they love become another level. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You have uh, traveled more than 47 countries. Yeah, 47, yeah this is yeah, amazing. Countries, amazing. What cultural similarities and differences have you encountered on this uh, trip? What surprised me most is like when I come here actually that wow, people watch the Turkish series, right? I think the Pakistani people are genuinely great people. Like I love it. I've been to 46 country, right? The mm-hmm. fact Pakistan is my 47th. I say that to with my friend Elias when we were speaking. We mm-hmm. also say the same thing too. Mm-hmm. I never f- find or seen any country that more friendly here than Pakistani people. These days it's, it's booming, you see. They say it, uh, traveling is the uh, new education like this. And it's true, you know, it's true. You meet new people, you go to a new country and you meet so many people and get to learn a lot. You know, there was a movie called Into the Wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've watched it. This is nice my movie. favorite movie. Really? Yeah. Mine yeah. too. So when I watched that movie first time, I was mm-hmm. like, hey, like this is the life I want to do, right? This is, this is the way I want to live my life. Hello everybody watching this this is Arif Hussain and welcome to another podcast episode of Explore Experiences uh, this is the show like you know where we bring in different travel adventurers and uh, travel experts from different corners of the world and uh, try to unfold their Pakistan travel experiences so today we have a very special guest with us uh, Suleiman who's basically from uh, Turkey but uh, he has lived most of his life in UK and other parts of the world uh, while traveling obviously Uh, by profession, he is a YouTuber and a content creator. So, welcome on the show, Suleiman. Thank you so much, Arif. First of all, thanks for accepting me to your show. Thank and you so thanks much for inviting me to Pakistan. You are welcome. Yeah. You are welcome. Uh, uh, before, you know, we start with your Pakistan travel experience. Uh, can you, like, tell us uh, who is Suleiman, basically, where he comes from, like, a bit of your background and how it all started, basically, you end up here in Pakistan, a bit of a short brief, you know, a short brief uh, introduction about yourself so that our guests who are watching us, they could get an idea of the type of person they are listening to. Of course. Uh, the, I was born in, uh, Tur- in Turkey, in Manisa, in mm-hmm. 1989, and my father was a GP, and my mom was also GP as well. Mm-hmm. So we traveled, actually, from villages to villages in all our life to basically pretty much help to people back in need and then mm-hmm. to basically for the health care of to the villagers usually and by the age of 18 i actually moved to uk and from I li- turkey yeah from turkey right and i m- lived in uk the rest of this time and i lived mm-hmm. all around the uk as well actually my son also still there in oh, the oh nice your son is yeah well. how yeah. old is he uh, he's actually turning 14 oh, in july that's nice that's sweet yeah and i have done lots of businesses before as i said mm-hmm. to you before i used to have a franchise in turkey uh, uh, in england sorry mm-hmm. and then after a while few years ago i just said you know i mm-hmm. had enough of this life and i want to mm-hmm. go around and travel the world you know mm-hmm. and that's how my journey started nice 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 so uh, like if i'm right can you tell me like uh, uh, i guess you had mentioned the other day somewhere like you have uh, traveled more than 47 countries yeah, 47, yeah this is no, yeah, amazing country, that's amazing like how it began basically you started off with turkey and then you ended up till now in pakistan how it goes for you like how did it go for you so basically uh, the first of all when i was in the uk mm-hmm. the first country for me was the uk when i went there right true and then i traveled all around the uk the wales the scotland mm-hmm. and ireland so then i loved it it was mm-hmm. amazing but that what i realized when i was traveling i said mm-hmm. maybe those countries are not for me because mm-hmm. i'm not really enjoying it as much as i thought i would be mm-hmm. you know And then I traveled to Asia. I done all around the Asia and I said, okay, that's a different world. And I started to see the other BTs of the world, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, because the world is a huge place, right? It is, yeah. so it is. And one of my best friends, he's actually always says to me, he says, I love the way you travel in mm-hmm. because world is, a, world is like a book. And if you stay in at the same place, you mm-hmm. always read in the same page, right? right so right. for me, I want to read all those pages and I'm going all over, all, all over as possible. Perfect, perfect. That's, that's, that's amazing. Uh, we'd also like to know the inspiration behind you becoming a pra- uh, traveler. I mean, uh, a YouTuber as well. Like, what's your inspiration behind being a traveler? How come you made up your mind? Like, uh, initially you love traveling. I can understand your story, the way you said it. Uh, but you might have, uh, someone might have, you know, kind of inspired you. Like, you look up to somebody and you think, let's do it. This is what I want. So, uh, maybe a guy or maybe an incident or anything, a specific thing that might have you know inspired you to become a traveler yeah basically the first guy for me is you know there was a movie called into the wild yeah, yeah, yeah. I've watched this is nice my movie. favorite movie really mine yeah. too. so when i watched that movie first time i was mm-hmm. like hey 
like this is the life I want to do, right? This is this is the way I want to live my life. Mm-hmm. And then once I got my backpack, when once I started to travel, I told you I already traveled around the 46 country, but I wasn't really taking a picture when I did it first. Mm-hmm. So just for a while ago, like a few months ago, actually my brother, his name is Mehmet, and he actually forced me. He's like, look, man, you're going to crazy places and you're experiencing amazing things because, as you know, I'm mm-hmm. really... Uh, close with the locals. I talk to everybody. I try to understand the culture and everything because when I go to country, I stay at least four weeks, right? So when I, while I've, I was doing this, Mehmet told me there is no one actually goes around and shows the culture the way you do, right? Because people go right. to the main cities and then just stay there for a few days and another main city. So he said, you got to show what you're doing to people. And then we decided to actually start to record. So for a while, it was really hard for me, mm-hmm. you know, because like the, the yeah, YouTube... Yeah, I can understand. It's a, traveling is a tough job. Yeah, and it, especially YouTube is harder. You harder, know? it's harder. It's it's because like recording yourself is, uh, it's it's a skill, right? When I was walking around the street with the camera on my, on my hand, I, I felt like, I felt really bad. Because mm-hmm. there is a camera and you're mm-hmm. talking to yourself, right? You're telling... The people you're giving your experience to people, but again you're just talking to yourself to the camera. So that's mm-hmm. was so hard. But after a while, I just got used to it, and now I actually love what I'm doing because like I have hundreds of people messages me every day and say, "Look, I want to travel the world, and mm-hmm. you inspire me." You they know? kind of you know ask you the about the tips and how to travel, how to plan uh, your traveling and everything. Exactly, exactly, because I believe uh, there is a lots of youth as you know, that mm-hmm. they actually want to do a lot. They want to go see places, but they, mostly they sometimes they scared. True, and I'm sorry, I'm cutting you off. These days it's, it's booming, you see. They say uh, traveling is the uh, new education like this. And it's true, you know, it's true. You, you meet new people, you go to a new country, and you meet so many people and get to learn a lot. So that For is sure. an education, I guess, a new education. Uh, traveling is this uh, education of the century. So, so that's true. So for like 47 countries, like what do you own continuous go? Like you are traveling one country and then you are going to the another country or uh, it's like maybe you stay, you earn. How it goes for you? Like you earn to travel or is it you travel to earn? No, actually uh, for me, it's a, uh, as I said to you before, I had a franchise and mm-hmm. uh, which when I was in, when I was young and mm-hmm. I used to save money and travel, that was something else. But when I start to travel like full time, mm-hmm. I actually sold my franchise. Oh, you sold years all ago. your businesses yeah. and then you thought yeah. of, you know, That's giving it, yeah. this life, a traveling life, a try. Yeah. I actually had like uh, seven businesses in the UK, but I was like, okay, I had enough and I sold everything in one Mm -hmm. month and I just grab everything that I can and I just start to go. Like it's usually for me, it's go from one country to the other. So Mm -hmm. I don't like to fly much. So I usually pick a spot. So I fly to that spot and from there, I just cross the borders if Mm -hmm. it's possible, because as you know, sometimes this, some of the countries close the borders to each other. So you can't really do a border cross, right? Mm -hmm. But if it's possible for me, I, go by the land, so then I can see more and I, I can explore more. more. You get to exactly. see more. Exactly. Since you have traveled so many countries, uh, I know we have a lot to talk when it comes to country after another one, but uh, uh, since we are doing Pakistan travel experience, what inspired you to kind of, you know, uh, travel to Pakistan? I mean, uh, was there one who kind of uh, uh, recommended it for you, like go to Pakistan, it's a nice place. Just because I know I've been traveling lately uh, a bit and I saw the perception of people, global people looking at how they look at Pakistan. So it takes courage and a good information, reliable people. You cannot just travel to any country unless you are that much courageous and you want some real adventure in your life. So what inspired you to travel to Pakistan? Was there anybody who kind of uh, suggested the country for you? Um, Well, before, uh, when I used to live in the UK, I had a lot of Pakistani friends mm-hmm. anyway. And mm-hmm. I know the Pakistan and especially Kashmir. I always heard about it and I did a bit research. And as I said to you before, when we were chatting, uh, I'm a man of nature. I love the nature. I love the people. I love the places where people don't go, right? So the na- unexplored places. Unexplored places. And sure. which Pakistan has an amazing nature, right? Mm-hmm. The mountains and the green sides of it. And wherever you go in Pakistan, is every different part of it is a different b- beauty. So it's mm. the basically it's Kashmir. Uh, sorry, uh, Karachi has nothing do n- nothing same with Islamabad or with the Gilgit. Every, every place has their own different, different vibe. Right? Exactly. So when I checked it on the internet and when I was like doing a bit of research, I said, okay, Pakistan is a country I want to go and see. And since I came here, it's amazing. I'm loving it. True. You know, true. Uh, I understand that. Uh, like uh, again, talking about uh, Turkey. Well, let's uh, personally, you know, uh, 
all the YouTubers, since I, I run a tour agency as well, and we are a tour company. And the reason for such podcast is to create awareness among our people who follow us, who kind of listen to, you know, uh, the audience, who people out there who look out for some serious travel tips. That's the reason we have kind of, you know, started this podcast series. And in fact, it's our second episode here. And we personally appreciate YouTubers like yourself. I know the type of uh, efforts they put in while promoting this country, especially Pakistan and other developing countries. Uh, just because they create content which is more attractive, unique, you know. They go and they go around, like you yourself said, uh, I like uh, showing people the unexplored, little explored places. So that's exactly what uh, we want as well, just because there is a lot to see in this country that needs to be communicated to the right people, you know, who want to travel to Pakistan. So there are places which are unbelievable, let me tell you. There is still to be explored. There is a lot to be explored even now. And I really appreciate the effort of people like content creators, YouTubers, on the, all the social media bloggers who come here, you know, they literally, they spend money here, uh, their own money, and they come here, they make content, and they kind of show it to the world. And then people out there who are travelers, tourists, conventional tourists, you know, uh, we get so many people, uh, uh, the conventional tourists who travel, who buy kind of, you know, tour packages from companies. And when we ask them, where did you find the information about Pakistan? They name any YouTuber like yourself. We saw some video on uh, uh, YouTube of this guy and we loved it. And then we made up our mind to travel to this country. So uh, thank you so much. The way you, the efforts you are putting in, you have come to our country. And I guess say, you have explored little uh, some parts of Pakistan so far, right? How many, uh, there is still <coughs> much to see, but I guess you have explored some little parts of it. So can you like... Uh, tell us about your Pakistan experience. How did it start? Where from did you uh, made up your mind? And what was the first country, uh, city, sorry, that uh, you explored? Yeah, of course. Um, first of all, thank you so much for, again, inviting me here. And for me, I really like the Pakistan. For me, Pakistan is, again, some... Mm -hmm. It's different than any other country. Because, again, you know, the Pakistani and Turkish people, we are historically as well close to each other, right? So with that reason, I always wanted to come to Pakistan. Uh, I actually fly from fly from uh, the Maurit Mauritania to Istanbul. Oh, cool! Yeah, and from Istanbul to the Karachi, right? Karachi, yes. Karachi. So I spent four days in Karachi. I stayed in Sadar, and we Sadar, have a, yeah, right. we have a good friend of our Usman. Hello to Usman uh, from Usman. here. Hi, Usman. Uh, thank you so much for helping us. Uh, much love. Uh, much with love. It, with, uh, helping uh, Solomon with his uh, tour plans. Yeah, and Osman basically pretty much uh, they showed us all around Karachi. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. And I, again, as I say, I went to, uh, when I travel, I'm a social traveler. So mm -hmm. I like to talk to everybody, if, especially they, if they speak English. I like to talk to them and I like to ask about the question about their country and about their culture, right? And it was amazing And for what me. they love and everything. Exactly. And especially when they hear, actually, I'm Turkish, that's... Mm -hmm. As I say before, I know Pakistani people are great hosts, but like when you say you're Turkish, it has become something else. Like they, their love become another level. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And from Karachi, we actually took a train, the Green Line. A I Green think. Line, yes. A train yeah. service, right? That was a good experience also, mm -hmm. you know, and it was comfortable. <laughs> and we traveled from there. We supposed to travel to Lahore, but we said, you know what? There's a long way and we don't want to miss the, the some cities and villages mm -hmm. around. So we stopped in soccer, right? And then we tra actually traveled around the soccer. We experienced the city, which it was also amazing. It's like it was a crazy experience, which because when we went there, the people were actually super friendly to us. You know, when we were walking on the street, people would grab our hands, come have a, like a biryani in my shop. They, they love beer, you know, hospitality. I'm sorry, I'm cutting you off. Yeah, hospitality no, is very much uh, appreciated by foreigners mm -hmm. here in Pakistan. Uh, hospitality is something we sell very proudly in this country, just because everybody, they want to know about people, especially a foreigner like yourself. They would love to meet you. They would love to interact with you. Like, where are you from? And knowing that you are from Turkey, we have good, uh, good, ties, uh, yeah. good ties with Turkey. Uh, uh, personally, uh, we have so many friends as well. I'm sure everybody knows somebody in Turkey, and Turkey is very much uh, ne uh, a tourist uh, destination, an attractive tu tourist destination. So many people uh, who already have uh, traveled to Turkey, you'd, you'd meet them in most of the places. Uh, so yeah, uh, Suleiman, uh, knowing that a traveler, you are a traveler from Turkey, uh, what cultural similarities and differences have you encountered on this uh, trip? I mean, uh, are there any... Uh, cultural uh, similarities or differences uh, between like Turkey and Pakistan that you kind of, you know, uh, felt here after, you know, coming to Pakistan? Or is it the same? Maybe it could be food or maybe it could be the uh, way of people, uh, how they treat you, how they uh, 
uh, met you or how they greet you are there any specific kind of you know uh, differences or similarities in culture that you would like to uh, share with our audience yeah um let me put it that way i think as a similarity similarities like the turkish people are also welcoming people too right and True. Uh, be, the, from this side of the view it's like this we have a lot of uh people that watch the same series and then we have mm-hmm. some sort of same same kind of foods mm-hmm. and that what surprised me most is like when i come here actually that we'll have people watch the turkey series right mm-hmm. so when i actually see that how we like the both both countries that we like the same things mm-hmm. right and again as a religious way we are at the same religion but uh i genuinely think the turkish people are actually uh well different than any other country you know because mm-hmm. the turkey is actually in the middle of the east and the west so with that reason we are actually similar to the western people and also the eastern people eastern as well people, right and it's the, literally the same culture mm-hmm. and that's that's like the welcoming the host the great host you mm-hmm. know what i mean it's same for the pakistani people and the turkish people but apart from that i didn't see anything different you know what i mean i i think the pakistani people are genuinely great people like i love it mm-hmm. uh, the the food i love the the nature of it i love it and yeah i think i think that's the best i can say about it like you know what i mean for me again after soccer we went to the lahore mm-hmm. lahore was a different country yeah it's a whole vibe different by vibe itself, right? you know what i mean <laughs> so that's what i say all these places we go different culture and different different like environment you know what i mean so they mm-hmm. by themselves as a country again the pakistan has a huge population it's like almost it 200 is. 200 million right that's right so 220 million people uh, five different states and when you go to ev- every state is different it's like a whole different country whole different culture it's so rich that i love it you know it's just no one is really same mm-hmm. it's really colorful and actually i can say that in turkey is we are not as colorful as pa- pakistan you know mm-hmm. so like everybody uh, was welcoming and like uh, it was a nice experience it was man but for me i loved it look As I said to you before, I've been to 46 country, right? The mm-hmm. fact Pakistan is my 47th. I say that to with my friend Elias when we were speaking, we also mm-hmm. say the same thing too. Mm-hmm. I never f- find or seen any country that more friendly here than Pakistani people. Thank you so much. I'm I'm, I'm happy to he- uh, hear that. Uh, I hope everybody uh, would love and be happy uh, to hear uh, someone from Turkey, we, uh, a guy who is like uh, who understands and who like appreciates their culture their people and their uh, hospitality so this is the good part let's be honest about few things like uh, uh, what about the challenges you might have encountered on this trip maybe it could be difference uh, maybe it would be food you know or uh, <coughs> like uh, any other thing any other service maybe accommodation or maybe the uh, uh, the system i don't know uh, anything you can put it uh, better like anything which you were not expecting and you find that as a you found that as a challenge and you thought this could be done in a good way or this could have been a better way mm. um the first challenge that i can tell is the one thing actually maybe that should be better that if it's improved right it mm-hmm. is the booking oh booking so, like yeah. booking for uh the booking.com oh, so booking.com, let's say right. most of the hotels are actually or on booking.com mm-hmm. but let's say when you are uh the reserve your room from the booking.com mm-hmm. sometimes you go to a hotel and they say we don't have it we like just not booked basically when you booked, go there or we don't have a room you know mm-hmm. so that could be actually improved and i say to improve the pakistan's tur- tourism again there should be a lot of work online so Pakistan is an amazing country. Mm-hmm. Pakistan is everything. Like you can you you have a desert, you have a mountains, you have the the glaciers, the, lakes, e- culture, we have like everything Food, honestly. Everything. Four seasons. Exactly. The four season in the different side of the country and which it's really good. That which mm-hmm. did also it's similar to Turkey. Turkey is also same. Turkey is four season country and it's every parts of it is a different culture and different foods and it's also beautiful as Pakistan. But as you know the turkey is a really like famous tourist attraction right so for pakistan to be also mm-hmm. the, as ma- many tourists to be visiting i think it should be more uh, advertised you know that's what right, i believe right right uh, but apart from challenges 
again, man, like honestly, hand on heart, like I can't lie, there is no challenges whatsoever. Like I tell from here to all my fellow Turkish people and to the Brits as well, especially, mm-hmm. that the people should come to Pakistan. Like it is so easy to travel around. If you want to get a food, the food is amazing. You can get a food everywhere. 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 And it will be most of the places you go, people don't even want money from you. You know <laughs> what I mean? They like the people who sit around, they actually try to pay for you. And you're like, no man, like let me pay my food, you know? And if you want to travel around, everybody helps you. Again, if you need to find the address or whatever, the people are really helpful. And um again, almost I was so surprised. A lot of people speak English. Like so many people speak English that I never go to somewhere in Pakistan that I find nobody speaks English, that everybody does. So that's also really good as well for tourists or travelers to come around too. And which I believe that everyone should easily come here. Just fly. And Don't think true, about that's it. That's true. And that made me happy after uh, you saying it. Uh, talking about people, like you get, you get, uh, you get a chance, like... Uh, Uh, did you meet some people uh, down the line uh, like i uh, kind of made some friends here in pakistan did you get a chance to make some local friends as well of course a lot i mean yourself uh, other yeah. than me obviously and shaki <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah there are so many friends so you many already like Usman. you're traveling so uh, so far you have traveled the southern part of pakistan mm-hmm. so any plans on visiting on the northern pakistan as well of course um, i have i'm still recording around today i actually had a couple of episodes around the Islamabad mm-hmm. uh, and I want to do after here like I will be done like next day or something then I'm going to go up to actually Gilgit I'm looking really looking forward to it you'd love it northern Pakistan is one of its kind again uh, you uh, I'll highly recommend you as a content creator as well as for a personal a nice personal trip you see Gilgit Baltistan especially Skardu Hunza Ferry Miros all those places you'd love that if it's your first time mm-hmm. it's your first time in Pakistan right yeah yeah first you time. would love first it time. So Ferry Meadow is like especially like it's really important for me. I really would like to go and see mm-hmm. that and Hunza spe- also. Mm-hmm. Um after that want to spend like a week there mm-hmm. and after that going to move down to the Peshawar, mm-hmm. see the area, explore it. And I think for this time I'm done with the Pakistan after Peshawar. Uh, but for sure I will come back. So what are you excited about when you travel to uh to the northern part? are there any expectation the type of places that you want to explore like in south you have you have been to the interior scene you had like you told me you've been to karachi you've been mm-hmm. to lahore you've been to uh, other places uh, where uh, we do not have much uh, uh, good uh, like i say five star hotels or that mm-hmm. kind of services but still uh, people are nice and you loved it again it's safe you can go around and explore the country uh, talking about the north is there any specific kind of place that you would like to explore in something you know which is uh, unlike uh, it's not which is not a very conventional very common place but again uh, maybe you are you are more into uh, mountains or maybe glaciers or maybe a landscape or what actually attracts you for now what are your plans on visiting northern pakistan and what are uh, what kind of uh, 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 landscape basically you would like to explore in the north um well normally i never stay in the cities mm-hmm. like it's wherever i go to I always get out of the cities and I go to the countryside. I uh, always explore to mountains and it's possible as I said mm-hmm. to you before I've been to Everest mm-hmm. and I've been to Himalayas before that. And for me is like the most important thing is the mountains because as back home I also live in the mountains. My house is in the mountains, right? So in the north I would like to actually explore to the mountains and Fair Meadow as you say and Karakrum is really I've been look, I'm really looking forward yes, to do Karakrum this. Yes, Karakrum Highway. That's again eighth wonder of the world. And Ferry Meadows, I personally highly recommend it yep. for you. If you have time and if your time allows you, if your schedule allows you, I you should uh, you should really go there. It's something you have Nanga Parbat in front of you, and that's the view is like amazing. I mean, my followers are uh, normally they actually looking for, forward for mm-hmm. me to do this kind of stuff mm-hmm. because like as you say when you start to con- uh, create a content is your followers on whatever you do right if some people some people like uh, has a content of food or mm-hmm. the cities or the parties and mm-hmm. they followers actually on this way but right. the people who follows me they know that I like to nature and I like to untouched places right so that's why I'm looking forward to the north the especially gilgit and the mountains and the villages because for me i probably will stay in the city one day but after that it will be for me just just go and explore the mountains the small villages mm-hmm. because right. i believe if you want to meet the culture if you want to see the real culture that you got to get out of the cities and you got to see outside the how people live what they do what is their cuisine 
and how they live their life their lifestyle yes yeah so i so think is a is a, a youtuber <coughs> how do you plan on uh, documenting and sharing your pakistan journey as a as a youtuber obviously yeah of course i mean at least i'm going to have a maybe 20 to 30 episodes in uh, pakistan mm-hmm. the which that i do the cities as well because mm-hmm. i think people should also see the cities also you know that they maybe some people as i said to you they want to come to cities they don't want to get out but i want to do is possible every corner of the pakistan that i can show people everything mm. you know right 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 so uh, i want uh, this would be i guess my last question uh, what advice basically uh, do you have for your fellow travelers who want to travel to pakistan in near future maybe who are just thinking about traveling to pakistan who have not yet made up their mind but still they have like plans on doing so mm-hmm. so what message by taking advantage of this uh, platform what message would you like to uh, give to your fellow travelers out there who are watching us right now um first of all i s- say uh, guys when you travel respect the country that you go into That's very this much is important. the first thank you so much for bringing it up and yes please yeah this is this is the most important thing because as you whenever you go to some country mm-hmm. let's say you go to the uh, europe you go to barcelona you can't just do everything there is a rules there is a culture or you go to rome or you go to shanghai or japan or tokyo like you know it doesn't matter everywhere you go the country has a culture that you should respect to and there is a rules right i say come to pakistan just respect people respect the way they live and don't forget it's especially for western travelers mm-hmm. like when you come in here do not forget that's also a muslim country mm-hmm. and try to you need to respect the local uh, exactly, obviously local laws people. customs and culture and everything yeah when i when i special for me when i record like if for this this for the uh, the friends who is doing actually youtube and the social media right mm-hmm. uh, if you're going to record around to make sure that you don't put the camera on front of people like mm-hmm. if you, before you get a a uh, interaction with the people right when i travel around the pakistan even in the back street and the small places i ask them i say hello how are you doing mm-hmm. how is it going assalamu alaikum all good uh, do you mind if i record like even when i go to the food trucks oh, do you mind if i record it right and they love it they love it you see they exactly. really want they they respect you as a t- I, like i told you they, like some people you them. see it's very it's a fr- one of friendliest uh, friendliest countries i must say 100% like uh, not one of i think is the most it's one of the most friendliest countries mm-hmm. that is for sure and people love especially outsiders they really want people to come here you know explore their country know about them their culture their lifestyle and everything as long as you are being respectful towards their culture for and sure. everything th- they wouldn't mind about anything and uh, uh you have been to india as well right yeah so what difference is like since india pakistan they're always mm-hmm. on the go <laughs> the rivals a couple huh? of yeah they are not rivals but it is the followers especially for as a youtuber you see i've seen so many youtubers uh, their mm-hmm. audience is majorly you know divided between pakistan and india so some people prefer there i've seen a lot of debates like those so what's the difference have you felt within pakistan and india mm. when i went to india india is also a nice country and mm-hmm. um, i get no, nothing against it um i can say it's almost pretty the same So when I say it that way is like you know we are actually same with the Turks and Greeks mm-hmm. right I'm sure oh, you guys yeah, heard the about same it same story like that literally same the, but I'm actually from I born in Aegean side of the Turkey mm-hmm. right is the, the the same the islands the sea sides and you can go to any anywhere in Greece the same mm-hmm. our foods are same like everything that are desserts the food even the the let's say the drink we mm-hmm. call it we drink raki they call it raki you know what i mean it's everything is so similar but yet it's a different culture right so that's how i want to put it that way it's india and pakistan it's so similar i say maybe up to 90% right but right. it's just i think i put this 10% is maybe just a religion <laughs> okay yeah. <right. laughs> but again don't i no offense to nobody mm-hmm. but i believe pakistani people are more friendly oh so you like you're like pakistanis yeah more friendlier than more friendly uh, because i don't actually as i said to you the last year uh, i just done from goa to all the way to kerala right mm-hmm. again people are over there they're super friendly but in pakistan is a different story man it's it's literally a different story is it even cheaper than india uh, how do you put it i mean uh, comparatively uh, like uh, in terms of accommodation and maybe uh, transport or maybe entry tickets activities that you offer to make your videos and even food local food when you go around exploring uh, local cafes some local pakistani food 
so in terms of uh, like although india's currency is stronger than ours mm-hmm. that's for sure but uh, still you know yeah i mean um i think i could say because like again i went to i started my journey in india from the goa goa was expensive place you know the goa yes so that's a famous it place is. in india yeah it's it, it was expens- expensive but i think the pakistan if you want to come to pakistan pakistan is a budget friendly country you know mm-hmm. and it's the differences there's some things that are more expensive some things are cheaper right uh, but accommodation is way cheaper in pakistan which it's nice mm-hmm. again but what are you looking for your um, it can go from up to 10 dollar to whatever uh, there's no yeah. limit to it exactly <laughs> so it's all about your budget like how you travel how much money you spend when you travel around what like how long do you stay where do you go because as i said to you before i don't just stay in one country like for a week or two for me it's minimum four weeks and mm-hmm. i have to do all around the country but so far so good pakistan is really amazing with every possible way for this reason i can say for especially turkish people right mm-hmm. in turkey we do have a, a inflation last one yeah, year yeah, or two I've read that online and it's actually quite bad right so the pe- people are actually at the moment a lot of people they want to go abroad but it's really hard for them to go to the europe or to any other western country you know mm-hmm. so i say to them that if you are especially the first traveler the first time going to travel i say come to pakistan pakistan is an amazing place for you that people are helpful people actually will help you with everything and you can afford a lot of things here instead of you going to europe but again i go back to your question between india and pakistan i believe that india is a little bit more expensive then pakistan pakistan yeah right 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 uh, thank you so much salman for uh, your time and insight on your uh, pakistan travel experience i know you are just halfway here you have a lot to travel you have a lot to see northern pakistan you have plans on uh, visiting northern pakistan like you told me you're going to love it bro that's i told you that that's one of its kind and hope to see you uh, some other day when you return from the north mm-hmm. so thank you so much for your time hope to see you some other day uh, thank you so Till much then, Thank you. Thanks for inviting me as well. Thank you so much. You're welcome.